Hi everyone, I'm Vinod and welcome to my channel. In today's conversation, we're gonna talk about why it makes more sense to do a master's of engineering degree compared to a master of science degree. So most people when considering going for graduate school in the US always think about doing a master's program. And when they say master's program, they typically refer to the master of science program, which is a two year program in most universities. The reason why people want to do a master's in science is that it gives them the option of doing a research based program and also continuing for a PhD degree in the future. So Indians, for example, Indians, Asians, and even Chinese focus a lot on getting into the master of science program because of the way they have been taught to apply for these programs. But you know what, if you want to increase the chances of getting admission, if you want to get a job as fast as possible, if you want to make money as fast as possible, you need to be applying for a master of engineering program and not a master of science program. So let's dig deeper into what I'm trying to talk about today. Let's compare the master of engineering program and the master of science program. The master of engineering program is typically a coursework based program and it only lasts for one year. The master of science program on the other hand typically is a two-year program and it can go up to two and a half to three years and it's a research-based program you're supposed to do a master's thesis at the end of it i've had friends who plan to finish a master's in two years and it took them sometimes two and a half years and sometimes three years and the reason why there is a lot of difference in the way these programs give out degrees is the fact that when it comes to a master's of engineering program you only have to do your coursework and you're basically done once you finish it. In a master of science program, you're basically working with a professor, helping them advance their research. So a professor will actually give you something like a research proposal to be done, ask you to conduct an experiment. And when you finish it, you get your master's degree. So it's the same for PhD programs in engineering across the US where a professor gives you a chunk of work defines what needs to be done. If you get that work done, if you get the experiments done, if you're able to publish, you have your PhD degree with you. Likewise, if the MS program and the research you do takes more than two years, you wait till you finish your work and then get your degree. So that's one of the fundamental differences between a MS program and a master of engineering program. The disadvantage with the master of engineering program is that it typically is more expensive because firstly you'll have to pay full tuition schools rarely give scholarships for master of engineering programs a master of science program on the other hand there is always a chance for you to get funding at the end of the first semester or even if it comes to the worst you could possibly get funding at the end of the second semester so if a two-year program has four semesters you probably are going to get some sort of funding at the end of the first or second semester in a master of science program but you're not going to get any funding for a master of engineering program. But at the same time, this can be a big advantage for you because after you finish your master of engineering program, you can begin working right away, which means that you can be making one full year of income in the US or other countries by the time your friends are finishing up their second year of the MS program. So if you're looking at the compensation, which is given to students after they finish their master's program in engineering and in science. Companies don't care about which degree you have. As long as you have a master's degree, they're more than happy to take you in and put you in industry because most companies do believe in giving you industrial exposure in their companies. They don't expect you to have any industrial exposure when you come out of your, your undergrad or master's program. So they're going to train you from scratch. So each company has this got has got its own training program and they don't expect you to have industrial experience, which basically means that you can make money faster by being in a master's of engineering program. If you were to be in computer science, a master of engineering student is probably make, gonna make around 110 to $115,000 of base salary. And uh, um, again, it's almost the same numbers for a master of uh, engineering program versus a master of science program. So both are gonna make very similar numbers. 110 to $115,000 straight out of school. You're looking at say electronics, a master of engineering student is got, probably gonna make somewhere near $81,000 and a master of uh, a science student is probably gonna make something like $90,000. There's a small difference um, when it comes to electronics disciplines. When it comes to mechanical engineering disciplines, uh, 
master science student probably makes around $84,000 straight out of um, the master's program and a master of engineering student probably makes $77,000. So look at it this way. So if you are doing a master of science program, um, you are basically paying for your first semester of tuition. And even if you get funding for the second, third and fourth semesters, you're probably not gonna save anything. But a master of engineering student pays for the first two semesters and is graduates within a year. And by the second year, they're making up to seventy to $100,000 a year. And that's valuable savings compared to a master of science student who is probably not working. So this is one of the big advantages, the ability to work fast and make money. This, I would say the disadvantage with doing a master of engineering program is that there's a preference given to master of science students because they've done solid research and worked with professors very closely when it comes to taking in students for a PhD program. But at the same time, do understand that a master of engineering program does not rule you out. You have the same, I mean, you are benchmarked at probably 80% of that of a master of science student. So you still have enormous advantage over an undergraduate student when it comes to applying for PhD programs. So when it comes to applying for PhD, yes, there's a marginal advantage for MS students, but again, it's not that bad for master of engineering students either. I would say that a lot of schools like MIT, Berkeley, University of Michigan, University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, they all have very good master of engineering programs. They are so good that you probably don't even need to do a master of science from there. You can just jump into doing a master of engineering program, pay your way through, uh, take some loans uh, and get working as fast as possible. But there are schools like Stanford, Carnegie Mellon, Caltech, Georgia Tech, Purdue, University of Southern California, which do not have master of engineering programs. So not every school offers a master of engineering program. Let's look at the school I did my master's from Cornell University. I had a bunch of students as friends who were doing the master's in engineering. So I heard that it is very, very easy to get into Cornell if you apply for a master of engineering program because most of the applicants were from India and from China. And I would say 70% from India and the remainder from Asia. So it was very India focused, much easier to get in. The GRE scores, for example, had lesser weightage when it came to the master of engineering programs. And the reason why it's easier to get into the master of engineering program is because Colleges instinctively understand that a person joining a master of engineering program is gonna pay for their tuition. They don't need to give financial funding. The moment you say that you're gonna pay for your tuition, your chances of getting into a top university increases dramatically, even if you have lesser GRE scores. It is just like an executive MBA program is easier to get in than a regular MBA program because you have worked for a bunch of years and the business schools know that you don't need funding. You can just pay for it right away. So you could do an executive MBA at Wharton and get an MBA degree uh, with much lesser GMAT scores than for example, doing a regular MBA degree at Wharton. So again, it's a little easier to get into master of engineering program. So that is something you may wanna keep in mind if you are targeting top schools, especially Ivy League schools. Now, when you benchmark some of these one year programs in master of engineering with say European master's programs, like uh, if you go to UK, you can get your master's done within a year. And you can probably get your PhD done within three years if you're at Europe. So I had a friend at Oxford who once told me that he took, she took three years to do an undergrad degree, one year to do a master's degree, and I think another three years to do the PhD degree. So within seven years, they finished undergrad, master's, and PhD. So European programs tend to be similar, like the master of engineering programs in the US, you can graduate much faster. So that's something we want to consider if you want to get out quickly and begin to make money faster. Okay, folks, I'm going to stop my video now. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, uh, do like this channel and do subscribe because I want you to spread this information to your friends as much as possible. Thanks. Have a great day.